Hi everyone, Dean Briggs with Ecclesia Prayer Communities. I'm excited about the Equipping the Ecclesia Conference coming up in April 17th, 18th, and 19th. Rick Joyner, Richard Crisco, Ed Watts, myself, and others are going to converge on Michigan for this strategic, strategic hour. And I believe actually the Lord is doing things in these days where conferences and events in the past have been so mightily used for two decades, 10, 20, 30 years, to equip and train and teach the body of Christ. And they've kind of become mobile, roving seminaries, and yet I believe we're moving to another level. I really believe God is using these events, whether they're large or small, regional or national, he, he's, he's, he's layering networks of events across the country to actually deploy at a strategic level the heart of heaven. So we are not only equipping, but we are beginning to mobilize strategically. Gideon bands who know how to function as one man. That's what it says about the men that Gideon joined to him. They came together as one man to defeat the Midianites. And I believe God is networking across the country with strategic opportunities, just like equipping the Ecclesia, April 17th, 18th, and 19th. I'm excited about this. I want to bring uh, uh, some, some reflection and insight and thought and strategy from the Lord. Uh, why the Night Watch matters. We're doing the Moravian Watch. Many of you are a part of it. Many have been curious. Many are, are, are wondering, why does the Night Watch matter? What is it about guarding the night, our exposed flank through the hours of, of, uh, 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 of uh, midnight to 6 a.m.? Why does that matter? And what is God doing raising up contending prayer in that hour? Why does uh, the, the broader scope of unity, why does prayer that crosses geographical boundaries matter. But most of all, why does the ecclesia matter? I believe the ecclesia is the critical word for this hour because it is not unto itself. The ecclesia is the governing body which Christ formed. Therefore, it holds, it is the vessel of revelation of the rulership of Christ. When we truly see who Jesus is, then we are prepared to become the body of believers with authority to bind and loose and keys uh, of death and hell, which he himself holds, but it's only when we see him for who he is as Lord Sabaoth, Lord of hosts, the incarnate Messiah, when we see a man in that position, then we are prepared to walk in that revelation and to be his ecclesia as men and women on the earth. You're going to come away encouraged. You're going to come away equipped but you're also going to come away strategically ready for the challenges we face. Bless you. I look forward to seeing you.